Hey everybody, welcome to uh, my YouTube channel and um, still looking for a name. I think I'm closer. I have an idea. Uh, just not quite sure yet what it's going to be, but I'm closer. I think soon. Uh, yeah, so it's time once again for us to get together to go through some uh, taste testing of uh, different dishes and foods and so forth. Uh, thank you guys so much for all that you've watched of mine uh, so far. This will be video number 10 of the YouTube channel and I'm very excited because uh, it took me eight years to finally post something uh, and in the last few weeks uh, I'm up to number 10. And so thank you all for the encouragement that you give me. I appreciate uh, the, subscri the subscribes that I get, uh, the likes that you've given me, uh, and just the fact that you are uh, checking it out. So thank you for being here. Uh, today, ice cream. Um, I love ice cream. And uh, while this particular episode won't contain anything like, uh, you know, potted meat or um, pears with mayo and cheese that amazing, uh, it will contain ice cream. And uh, ice cream is one of those things that, for me, I love. So you might be asking yourself, well, what the heck, why ice cream? Well, because there's a lot of ice cream flavors that I've always uh, stayed away from. Not for any particularly bad reason, just because I'm a creature of habit. Um, if I go get ice cream, I tend to get maybe two or three types. Uh, cookies and cream for years and years and years and decades uh, has been my ice cream of choice. Um, I'm also a big fan of Haagen-Dazs, um, caramel cone, caramel cone. It is a caramel ice cream with bits of crushed up waffle cone in it. Yes, it's as, it's amazing as it sounds. Um, and every now and then I like strawberry. Uh, just you know straight strawberry ice cream uh those are probably the ones that see the most rotation uh oh dulce de leche uh creamy creations has a dulce de leche haagen -Dazs does as well and it's fantastic um but yeah so today what i thought i would do is you know broaden the scope uh try some flavors that i've never had before that i've looked at at the store and just said nah, i don't think i'll like that and uh yeah so let's see what we came up with um, I've got five different ice creams that we're going to try, and uh, I'm confident enough that whether I like it a little or a lot, uh, all of these will get consumed at some point, so I don't want you to worry about uh, food waste and such. You might be asking, how much freezer space do you have? Uh, but I get pints, and um, these don't last long. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to introduce you to the flavors as we go. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, for years and years and years, I have passed up mint chocolate chip. Um, I just, I never pick it. I don't know why. Uh, so today's the day. First time ever, mint chocolate chip, creamy creations. I am choosing creamy creations as my brand of choice uh, for most of what I'm selecting today. In fact, all but one. And um, because support local. Uh, this is the uh, local grocery, uh, well, in Texas, H-E-B, and uh, I love their stuff. Um, I don't know if their ice cream is still made by those that make Bluebell, uh, but I know that used to be the case. Um, if you know the history, then comment below, let me know. But uh, yeah, let's get right to it. Got my trusty big old spoon that I always use for cereal, also used for ice cream. So first bite ever of mint chocolate chip ice cream, and let's try it out. I like mint. I like chocolate. I like chips. Chocolate chips. And um, here we go. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm digging that. This is really good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That mint flavor. This is a Thin Mint. That's what I'm getting. It's awesome. Fantastic. Why did I wait? Because I'm a creature of habit. Okay. I got four more. That is definitely going to get consumed at some point very soon. So, off to a great start. Uh, this next one 
is one that I know my mother liked, uh, but for whatever reason, I, I've never tried it. I just didn't think I would like it. Um, but if you're going to do an episode on ice creams you've never tried, uh, butter pecan. I like butter. I love pecans. I should love this. So um, let's see. Butter pecan ice cream. Southern butter pecan ice cream made with fresh cream and roasted pecans is what it says here on the label. So we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. <laughs> I don't know why I smelled it. Can't smell ice cream. All right, butter pecan. I'm getting the pecan. I'm not certain about the ice cream. There's something I'm getting that I'm not quite able to place. Look at the ingredients. Maybe it's the way the pecans are prepped. I don't know. But, um, I mean, it's good. It's not better than mint chocolate chip but um, yeah that will get consumed not before the mint chocolate chip but um, yeah I, I like that okay and we're back um, I believe in transparency so in moments like that I don't like to edit too much but uh, you don't want me sneezing on camera. Uh, that's what happened. So I know we're all close. You've gotten to love me over the last 10 episodes. And uh, you would have been okay. In fact, you might have even said bless you in the comments. But um, no. Uh, you don't want that. Okay. So on to item number three. Um, one of the quests that I'm going to go on with this project is to try things now and then with an ingredient that I've not loved my entire life in the hopes that I'll find something that has this ingredient that I might like. So the next thing I'm going to do is this is Swoon brand, which is an HEB brand. Uh, it's sort of their higher gourmet type uh, ice cream, sort of their, their foray into the Haagen-Dazs kind of world. And the ingredient I'm talking about is coconut. Uh, you guys already know from previous episodes, I don't, I'm not a fan of coconut. But this is coconut horchata. I discovered very recently that I love horchata. Absolutely dig it. I did not think I would. Um, the color was off-putting. I'm talking years. I spent decades avoiding horchata. And then I tried it. And I was like, what have I been doing in my life? And so, if I'm going to try something that's going to give me a chance at coconut, then it needs to be with something that I know I like. And I've never had horchata ice cream, so why the heck not? So, here we go. Horchata ice cream, coconut horchata. So, first bite. And it is kind of the off-putting color of horchata. So, there's the coconut. Ooh, man, it's like, right there. There's a hand again. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, that coconut's all over the place. Oh, my goodness. It's really good, the ice cream. But, man, that coconut is all through it. And I'm oh. okay. I'm gonna finish it. I really am. I, I'm just gonna deal with the coconut. But it's the ice cream that is delicious about that. So, okay, on to item number four. 
Uh, this is an ice cream that when I name it, you're going to be, what? You've never had, insert name here, ice cream? Never. Never. So let's do this. Tonight's the night. Rocky Road. Never. Ever. Never. You've got to be kidding. Never. So, we're going to give it a shot. Cream Creations H-E-B Rocky Road ice cream for the first time in my life. And, well... Let me clean the spoon. I don't know why I'm looking over there. Let me clean the spoon. Here we go. Rocky Road. Dutch chocolate ice cream with fresh cream, roasted almonds, and marshmallows. I see nothing wrong. Tonight has been a um, an exercise in trying not to get regretful about the choices I've made in my life. Because, goodness gracious, this is amazing. Do you know there was a time in my life when I didn't like chocolate ice cream? What? Yeah. Couldn't stand it. As a kid, my, my dad would buy us Neapolitan ice cream. You know, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry all in one container, I would avoid the chocolate. Couldn't stand it. Oh, that's good. Man. That's fantastic. Listen, I'll be honest. Episode number 10, milestone that it is, it had to be something that I was going to really enjoy. And I have really enjoyed this. But I said to myself, self, you should challenge yourself. You should try something that is outside the norm. Something different. And so I did. Well, I'm about to. And what I found was a product that I never knew existed. And uh, it is uh, called So Delicious Dairy Free. Dairy Free. Cashew milk ice cream. Um, I like almond milk. I've never had cashew milk. But I chose it because I thought, listen, if I'm going to take a risk. I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah, you can. See what that says right there? Bananas Foster. I love me some Bananas Foster. As a matter of fact, just a couple of days ago, I was talking to some folks about... The Bananas Foster Cheesecake at Dave & Buster's. I don't know if they still have it, but I'm going to find out soon. I love Bananas Foster. So if I want to try cashew milk non-dairy ice cream for the first time ever, it better be a flavor that has some potential. So here we go. I'm going to take off, open the package. Look, it's still sealed. And um, I'm going to bust into this bad boy. Um, give it a go. All right, so cashew milk ice cream. Let's see. It's definitely dairy free. Um, I, I get the caramel, I get the banana, it's chocolate for sure, um, I even get that toasted, you know, when you, when you make bananas foster and you toast the, um, the caramel, you cook it, and, um, they sometimes even torch the bananas, or they you put liqueur in it and you light it, and um, I'm getting that. But I'm also getting this undercurrent of something that isn't bananas foster. Um, I guess it's the cashew milk that's used. 
It's not horrible. But, um, I'll finish this last, uh, or maybe first get out of the way. But, uh, yeah, I prefer my ice cream with dairy. But, hey, you know, people who are maybe lactose intolerant, perhaps, or, um, you know, whatever, you know, life decisions they make that uh, prevents them from eating regular ice cream, if this is something that they could consume, then it's out there. Uh, it's called So Delicious Lice uh, Dairy-Free Bananas Foster Cashew Milk Ice Cream. Who knew? <laughs> I did. Uh, I had a feeling this might happen. But, um, hey, you know, if you don't try stuff, you can't figure out whether you really like it or not. I'm a big fan of making sure that people don't say, I don't like that without first tasting it. Because my parents never let us say uh, we didn't like something unless we tried it. And uh, so that's what this project's about. Except Balut. Um, maybe I should call the show Except Balut. Holy crow. Cow. Crow. Ho. Oh, I don't know what I was trying to say there. Holy. I don't know. Maybe call it not Balut. Maybe not. Um, yeah, so five ice creams that we tried today. We started with the mint chocolate chip. Absolute winner. Uh, butter pecan. Love it. Uh, we went to the coconut horchata, which definitely had coconut, but the horchata ice cream was fantastic. Tried my first ever Rocky Road, and I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I even had cashew milk ice cream for the first time in Anna Foster. Um, and yeah, I tried it. So, thank you once again for joining me. I'm always thankful that you guys take the time to watch these. Comment below your thoughts. Give me some ideas. Um... And uh, let me know what you want me to try. And uh, I really uh, appreciate uh, when you hit that subscribe button, so please do so. There's a little bell that you can click on for notifications so that when I post new videos, you can see them. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching me on Facebook if that's where you're watching me. Comment your thoughts below. And uh, as I get to get it, you know, get ready to get out of here, I'm going to finish on a familiar note with my go to cookies and cream cookies and cream ice cream that um, is never a bad choice and um, just like it cookies and cream I want you to remember what I always tell you you're awesome you're amazing and the world is a better place because you're in it love each other love is awesome take care of one another take care of yourselves and we'll see you next time